Hey, good morning. Bless up. This King Kevin checking in. You know, people ask me all the time why I look so good and handsome and young. Um, well, that's God's blessings, you feel me? So you're going to have to blame God for that. God's favor ain't fair. It is what it is. But the secret to my success and also my energy and creativity um, comes from, you know, eating, you know, natural things um, very often. Not once in a while, but actually every day. Now, what I do is I use um, Slim silk almond milk sometimes I have to baby spinach uh, some yogurt you know and um, you know some strawberries and of course bananas and I put them all in my blender you know my magic bullet I do have a, um, a bigger blender but you know somebody had broke the thing so I need to buy another glass jar for it but um, this is what I use and it takes only about two minutes every morning so you know what you put in your body is what comes out so I put in, you know, God's natural blessings and natural blessings comes out. And so it helps me stay up late at night, um, get up early in the morning, still grinding, um, very ambitious. And anyway, I need to make a blog about this, but one of these days I will be making some good, uh, you know, make a blog about, you know, healthy eating and, and hopefully interview some people that um, are about that life. Um, I'm just, you know, baby walking, but trust me. One of these days I'm going to fly into it and just completely cleanse my body, spirit, and soul. Um, and of course my mind with just healthy foods. You know, um, as a people, black people, we suffer a lot from um, heart disease, high cholesterol, high blood pressure. Because we eat a lot of foods that contain a lot of grease, um, things that are not healthy for us. And um, it's time to change that. You know what I'm saying? Live for the future. You know, not don't just eat for today, but eat for tomorrow as well, you know, and, um, you know, think about your family and that you want them to also uh, be alive and well and see you alive and well. Because, um, you know, the woman who, you know, who prepares the food, cooks the food, actually controls the future of her family, you know, literally, you know, by the food she eats. You know, the women of this country, of the nation, of the world, you know, they control the world through the food that they prepare for they the family for their husbands you know who who's supposed to provide and protect the family the children who are the future generation so if the women are always cooking unhealthy fatty foods greasy frying um you know, fats you feel me especially when it comes to pork um things like you know constantly eating ribs and chicken that stuff's not good for you as a matter of fact you shouldn't be eating meat every day anyway you know what i'm saying eating meat every day really isn't the best thing for you because you know what I'm saying? That stuff takes a long time to digest. Uh, but the, for your body, the enzymes, um, your large and small intestines to break that food down. Um, so I definitely, you know, suggest that you um, put, you know, meat out of your diet at least um, once a day or just pick one day. Don't eat no meat at all. Maybe a couple of days. You know, you, you survive with, you know, fruits and, and veggies. You'd be surprised how your mind and your body you know what I'm saying, alters, you know, for the better. Like, you feel more energetic, you feel more alive and well, you feel younger, you look sexier, ladies. Um, men, you know, you, you, you get rid of those um, those side handles, um, those, what do they call those, hug handles, um, those beer bellies, you know what I'm saying, and, and drinking a lot of liquor and alcohol on a regular basis, um, that does a lot to you as well. It's alcohol poisoning, um, you get that big beer belly, you know, you lose that four-pack turn to like a one-pack. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's all good. And this this year, 2016, you know, the summer, you know, is the sports um, Olympics um, in Rio and um, Rio, Brazil. So you know, you're gonna see a lot of Olympians. You know, these people are some of the most healthiest people in the world. You know, because they train all year round and they make big money too, uh, especially in soccer. You know, they run around the field. You know, nonstop. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a lot. Your body is your business. You know, like Brandon Marshall once said, you know, I invest in my body because my body, um, that's my brand. You feel me? That's how I make my money. So I got to take care of my body. I respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Flojo, who's featured in my book, Seven Types of Queens, King's Desire, she talked about um, just being able to, you know, be committed to eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, just constantly eating veggies and fruits, you know, flushing out, out her body of, of any toxins because, you know what I'm saying, food that we eat, you know, can literally destroy us, you know what I'm saying, mentally, physically, and definitely won't be on the level that she's on. Believe it or not, Flojo is the only woman, not even the only woman, she is still the world history record, uh, Olympic record from 1988, and we 2016 right now, who still owns 
and holds the record in the 100 meter dash and the 200 meter dash. In the 100, she won a 10-4-3, uh, I believe it was. And, and same thing in the 200. She ran a 21, hmm, can't really remember what it was, but like a 21-3-4, 21 uh, seven, nine, I think it was lower than seven, uh, 21.7. But the fact remains is, Frazier, Mrs. Uh, 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 Frazier from um, Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? She, the girl with that affectionate smile, she still didn't beat that record, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, Alex, uh, Alex and Felix, she still didn't beat the record in 200. Even Marion Jones, when they said she was on steroids, they did prove she still didn't beat Flojo's record. So it goes to show, and I don't even think. I think it probably take another 30 years before somebody to beat Flojo's record. Just be real with you. And so that's why she's featured amongst um, many other women like uh, Michelle Obama um, in, in my book because they promoted health. You feel me? Um, they're in a the chapter of um, Healthy Queen and Cooking Queen, you know. But anyway, um, my book is coming out soon. Um, it's called Seven Toxic Kings, Queen's Desire, and I'm so excited. God bless and have a good day.